All right, folks, so we are going to start working on reverting a shift base back to a carbonyl. This happens during the aldolase reaction and also during a lot of other carbonyl reactions. So here we have our shift base. You can see the C double bond N and connected usually to like a lysine residue within the enzyme. We also have a basic aspartic acid that we're going to use for some of this mechanism. The mechanism is really easy. Remember, what we're trying to end up with is a C double bond O, and then we'll free up our lysine. So the way we're going to do this is easy. We need to do an attack from our water here so we can start putting the oxygen on. Uh, but we also need to pull off a hydrogen so this is a better nucleophile. So our arrow push is going to go like this. We're going to attack the hydrogen. Then the bond is going to be used to do the attack on the carbonyl. And we're going to give charge back to the nitrogen here. So the electrons are going to flow here to make a new bond to hydrogen. Those electrons are going to suck back onto oxygen and be used to attack the carbonyl carbon. And then we're going to pop those onto the N uh, to give to revert, uh, reverse the positive charge problem. Okay. Now we're passing the charge off from, an, from an, a nitrogen to an oxygen. I'll show you that in the next step. So here you can see what's called the carbonolamine intermediate. Very similar to a hemiacetal where a carbon has an N and a OR attached to it. So that's a carbonolamine. Uh, so we're halfway there. We have a tetrahedral intermediate here, carbon with four bonds, one to OH, one to NH. Um, and so now we just need to uh, try to kick this thing off. Now the easiest way for us to do this would be to pull a hydrogen, but we can't pull any hydrogens because this OH is there blocking the basic oxygen. So first we need to protonate, and we're going to protonate to make a good leaving group, and that leaving group is this nitrogen. We want to try to kick it off so we can get our carbonyl freed back up. And that's going to allow us to do chemistry in the next step. So now that we have a protonated leaving group here on the uh, old lysine, all we need to do is pull this hydrogen, collapse the double bond, and kick off a leaving group. So here we go. Here's the push to hydrogen. We're going to protonate our glutamic acid. And then we're going to use the bond electrons to make the carbonyl, give electrons back to nitrogen, and that'll finish our reaction. And so now we have a free carbon, uh, three carbonyl rather, we have a, a uh, lysine, which is deprotonated, and we have a protonated glutamic acid. Now, to finish the mechanism to recharge it, we can protein. We can protonate our lysine. Okay, and we'll return that back to its original state. So now we have our free carbonyl, we have our enzyme recharged, and we've undone our shift base.